think about Brixton, I think, you know, early on, I think sort of coming back through Central and Brixton was, you know, it weren't the safest area. Like, so going to, going to stop for a Morley's might be, might be a little bit risky. It was a quick in and out. But, um, you know, it's, it's a definitely an area that's close to home. My mum used to work in um, the youth centre in Brixton. That was like one of her first jobs when she came to London because she wasn't from London originally. My dad as well coming from Nigeria. He was a, um, a taxi driver. Now that was his first job um, in London and kind of t- told me stories about what it was like for them, what it was like for me. And Brixton's obviously changed now. Um, you know, you hear a lot of Brixton being gentrified, um, which isn't good for a number of reasons, but it's definitely still got a uh, community feel. It's definitely still got a culture. You can definitely kind of still feel the Brixton vibe. This property I purchased for £290,000 and we're going to turn it from a one to a two bed. Now the one one bed property two doors down sold for 510000 So that's a good indication that we're going to be selling this property for over half a million pounds. So it is a conversion, so it's two flats. One of the great things is we've already spoken to the neighbors upstairs. Previously owned by Howden Association, this isn't the nicest area, but because it's a small space for a little budget, you can really transform it. So we're gonna completely transform the communal area with new flooring, decoration, and make it feel like a home. So this property we bought on the open market and it definitely needs a refurb, despite the fact you can tell the previous owner really put their own touch on it. It can have an internal reconfiguration to make it a two bed to increase the value. And it's also got a short lease. So in the space, that's what's known as the triple threat. Now for this property, I'd love to be able to retain a lot of the period features, be that the original skirting, the coving, the dado rails, or the ceiling roses, the fireplaces. It's got bags of character and I think it will be a shame to remove that. So we have two options. Option number one is we put the bathroom between the existing living room and bedroom because bathrooms don't require natural light. So this will be bedroom number one. The bathroom would be in the middle, have the new access to bedroom number two. As you come to the rear of the property, this, which we can always tap test, is just a partition, which is the existing bathroom would be removed. The door to the garden would also be bricked up. You would then have an L-shaped kitchen with a small island which would open out into your open plan kitchen living room. We then replace the windows with a set of bifold or sliding doors, um, you know, to create that direct access to the garden. Now it is a small garden, but again, any outdoor space is always a benefit. The show room is already a really good size. There's enough space in that to take the bathroom from the middle um, and to have two good sized bedrooms. And then you're gonna have an open plan kitchen living room that's probably gonna be around 20 square meters, so a really good size. There's also the option to retain the bathroom in the existing place and reverse the door. That would mean less work and also you'd be able to retain more of the period features. So we're gonna look at both options from AA Draft and decide which one we think is the best. So the garden's small, but it's like the previous owner has managed to squeeze as much into it as possible. And that you've got old life rafts from um, a boat. These are actually the weights from the original sash windows in the property. Uh, like, and just everywhere, there's just, this is like a storage caddy. They've got wood for the fireplace. Uh, they've got an abundance of plants. Like I said, I'm gonna let mum come round and take as many plants as she likes because she's a very avid gardener. You know, th- this property, you could definitely see it was a home that was loved. Like, and I say that because to merge yellow with orange, with blue, with even like the hand-painted details on the kitchen cabinets, on the ceiling, like everywhere you go in this property, you can see that it was something that somebody really created for themselves. Even if you look at the, the back door with the cat flap, I don't know what these details are called, I haven't seen them, but somebody's taken the time to make this. And I think effectively what I want to do is, you know, take the time to put my own stamp on it and create something that then somebody else can then add to. So it's going to still be a degree of a blank canvas. We're not going to go as personalized as this. So in terms of the plans for this property, uh, probably like a month's prep work with license to alter agreements, 
and building control, all of the drawings from the architects. Then the build anywhere from eight to 12 weeks. Haven't confirmed the team we're gonna be using for this yet, but it's a pretty standard schedule of works in that it's gonna be new kitchens, new bathrooms, flooring, decoration, partial plastering, and then your plumbing and electrics. So I'm gonna relocate the boiler, fuse board's gonna retain in the cellar. Um, I'm excited to see how it pans out. Definitely as well, probably gonna spend a little bit of time on the garden. I think the garden, although it's small, gonna really try and turn it into a nice little green oasis because it's quite established. So I'm gonna really utilize that um, and hopefully that will help to push up the end values. So really I just tend to use the spreadsheet, plumb in all the numbers and then just go from there. So this is the first site visit. We're gonna be back with regular updates. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you've got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section and I'll revisit them on the next video. I hope you're just excited about this project as I am, as I think it's gonna be a good one. So I'll catch you all on the next update.